Sarah, how are you? Hi, good. Yeah, thanks. How you doing? I'm doing well. This is the longest distance interview we have done since uh, social distancing started. You're in Australia right now. Thank you for waking up so early to do this. I am. I am. It's not too bad. It's like 9 a.m. It's fine. It's a All right. work day. It's a regular work day. <laughs> <laughs> it is a regular work day. Uh, and I should uh, want to congratulate you uh, for your Emmy nomination for Succession, but uh, because of the time difference, uh, that must have happened in the middle of the night for you. Are you the kind of person who sets an alarm to find out if it has happened? No. <laughs> no, I totally, my, my manager asked if I wanted to be woken up. I was like, no, it's like two in the morning, I'll sleep. It's either I've been nominated or I haven't. It's not gonna change whether I wake up or not. No, uh, no I got woken up by my friend who, who I'm living with at the moment in lockdown. And uh, they ran into the room and pulled the pillow off my head and said, you've been nominated for me. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty good way to find out. That's a great way to find out. You know, I was talking to uh, Matthew McFadden was on the show. He obviously is fantastic playing your husband, Tom. And he was saying one of the disappointing things, the depressing things, one of the many depressing things, but you guys won't be able to celebrate together at a virtual Emmys. Is that a bummer? Yeah, it is. It is because I, I miss everybody. And, you know, I want to be working again. And, I'm, you know, everyone's in the same boat globally, no matter the industry. Everyone wants to get back to work to be social and... and and with their friends, but I feel like we've got such a great team and, and such a great chemistry on and off screen that, yeah, it, it's a shame not to be able to do that all together, particularly for so many of us being nominated at the Emmys. It's, yeah, it's wild. I also uh, want to point out that I was lucky enough to meet you last year, uh, like the night before party, and the whole Succession cast, uh, not just yourself, but all of you, you guys were like the hot people that everybody wanted to talk to. <laughs> everybody wanted to come up, because I felt like right as the Emmys was hitting last year was when everyone had finally caught up to the show. It was cresting yeah. just at the right time. It, it was pretty, in some ways, confronting, I guess, for me, because I really did expect to go to the Emmys last year and, like, you know, slip under the radar and not be seen, just work out what it's all about. Okay, that's a very famous person. There's another one. I'm from Australia. Just be cool, chill out. But then when they all started coming up to me and going, hey, I love your work, it, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like now everybody is, you know, thirsting for a third season, whereas the second season maybe caught people a little by surprise. Obviously, you're thirsting for a third season as well. Is there, I mean, you hear whispers that it's maybe going to start in the winter? Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, I want to get back as soon as possible. And in a couple of months' time, that'll happen. But I think everything changes so fast at the moment that you could say, it's October and then it'll end up being sometime later because, you know, we don't know. It's good happen. that you guys as a cast are taking um, the pandemic seriously because I don't think a single character on the show would. No. Well, <laughs> in a way of like constantly hand sanitizing and just isolating themselves way ahead of any advice to isolate. They would, you know, and they've got their summer palace. They've got, they wouldn't even have to isolate together. They could all have a house They'd be all right. themselves. Yeah, but they probably would want to isolate together in some ways, just in case somebody made some moves or positioning. <laughs> right, just to keep eyes on them. Has the show taken off in Australia? Because some might even say it's based on Australians. <laughs> it has taken off in a way that I feel it's still like what first season was in America. Like there's still a bit of word of mouth going on. It's on a TV channel, uh, like it's on Foxtel and on Binge now, I think. Um, so it's, it's, it's there, but it's, um, it's still simmering, which is nice, yeah. Uh, you did find out on Halloween that it was slightly more popular than you had, had known. I did, yes. I get being tagged in photographs that sort of jarred me a little to go, whoa, well, that's well, not me, that's not me, that's a, a that's a terrible red wig, but it's meant to be me. Okay, that's just paper bag pants and a, and a turtleneck with a gold chain. That's, that's you didn't know you were being going to this Halloween party tonight and you just found that in your closet and you made a costume. <laughs> My favorite but it was, it was funny to hear that and realize, oh yeah, Shiv does have a very iconic style that you could also not have to do a ton of planning for, but also nail yeah. the Shiv look. But this yeah. is a style you sort of brought to the character, yes? It, yes, I mean, I wear high-waisted pants um, and sort of a wider leg pant, I guess. But there's no way in which that I am stylish as Sarah. Um, <laughs> I mean, any, any style I brought to the character was, was cherry-picked from other things and then and 
put together by Michelle far more than it was me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do want to uh, provide you this opportunity uh, before we go uh, to clear up an internet rumor about your birthday. Oh, yes. Please. I'm a proud Sagittarian. I am not born July 28th. Uh, my birthday is the 1st of December. Someone made a Wikipedia page up for me and they I just decided that 28th of July was, was me. And so for a couple of years now, I've been getting happy unbirthdays uh, from, from friends. And, and even my agent actually wished me a happy birthday once a couple of years ago. It's nice, though. I feel like it's a good way to distinguish your real friends from your friends who just sort of are living off internet knowledge of you. Oh, 100%. Yeah. When, when I get a happy birthday from somebody who's, who's, who's maybe not in the know, I'm like, okay, well, we need, to, we need to work on this friendship. I need to let you in a little closer. Maybe it's my fault that I haven't told you my birthday is December 1st. Yeah. Um, that's very helpful. I'm thinking of like planting a poison pill fake birthday myself now on my internet page, just so I can like separate, you know, the posers from the real deal. Yeah, I mean, it's lucky that I'm only six months out, but I feel like <laughs> if I was going to fake my own birthday, I should have gone, you know, three, four years, five years earlier. I yeah, that's true. That's, I guess, how we know you didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations again on the nomination. Thank you. Uh, again, it's 9 a.m., but for a lot of actors, that's a big, big deal. So we will say thank you. Yeah. And, uh... I'm going back to bed, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always great to see you, Sarah. Good to see you guys.